Hey, this is the old gaming geezer, and I am launching uh, a ship to go to the moon. Back to the moon, do a little bit more science, and fulfill some contracts, because I have no money. I have no money, because I've been launching spaceships. So, what I'm trying to do here, um, this is a very standard uh, uh, moon launcher. I've launched several of them before. Just going to the moon, going to pick up some science, plant a flag, which I have to do to get some cash, and then come back. Now, in about 14 days in game time, I have a Duna window, so I figure I am going to head for Duna. Problem is, I don't have the money to head for Duna, so hence I have to do some contracts to build up some cash, because I have none. Well, I have enough, but not very much. So as you can see, I just dropped my uh, external boosters there. It's a very standard launch, getting this into orbit. Uh, there's nothing crazy going on here at all. There I am, setting up my uh, orbital insertion burn, and it's quite a long one, so I have to start burning immediately. And we're getting into the, to the Kerbal orbit. This is a quite a long little ship. Um, I'm trying to go cheap here. As cheap as I can, because I have no money. <laughs> um, now, I started hearing some... I some, uh, started reading on the, the Kerbal Space Program forums about a mod uh, called... Um, Stage Recovery, I think it was. Stage Recovery. And I started reading up, and I didn't really seem to be... It kind of was giving me what I wanted, but not really sure if it was going to work for me. And what this uh, what this plugin does is it allows you to recover spent stages if you add parachutes to them. And I wasn't really sure... I, I don't know, I didn't like it. It's something about it I didn't like. But then, uh, the other day, I saw another one that just was released called uh, Refund. Deb, sorry, Deb... Deb Refund, as in Debris... Fund. Refund. And all you gotta do is add some parachutes to your spent stages, the stages that are going to be dropped, and it will automatically give you the, 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 the when you drop them, it will give you the, the money for the parts, less the fuel, obviously, and it informs you of when it happens uh, in the top right-hand corner, the, the new notification window in the game. Now, I don't, haven't installed this yet at this point because... Well, I hadn't realized that I could do this. Uh, so here I am. I'm going into the moon now. Um, now, entering the moon's sphere of influence. And going to bring it around. And get ready to start slowing down. Oh, I just dropped my uh, stage there. Let it crash into the moon. Because um, I don't need it anymore, basically. So there I am getting a nice low uh, moon or pass. So, and then setting up my... Orbital burn. There we go. Orbital burn set up. And now we're coming into the moon. Closing in. Getting our into position for our orbital burn. And... Any, <laughs> any second now. Here we go. Burning for the moon. This is going to put us in a nice nice little orbit around the moon. Now, I'm aiming for a place on the moon that I have never been to before so I can gain some science and plant a flag, mostly to gain some science. And so I'm looking at the southwest crater. I get uh, Jeb out to do a little uh, flying over the uh, surface of the moon science. Luckily, I'm flying over an area where I've never been before. Uh, and I decide to transmit that data so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, looking good and just quickly checking my power there I can't remember <laughs> if I have enough power on this thing so now I am going to be setting up to get to the southwest crater there I am setting up a maneuver node <laughs> adjusting it about manlying in my orbit so I can get down into that crater um, and now spinning my ship around just to get ready to do my burn Setting up an alarm clock for it. And uh, we're time accelerating past now. We're getting close. Um, I've already done my burn. And now I am coming in over the surface. 
I'm now coming right over the crater where I'm supposed to be, the southwest crater, and burning to slow myself down. Luckily, I still have my transfer stage, which I didn't actually need, but uh, it means I have plenty of fuel to do this. There's no no issues of fuel on this trip. Uh, Jeb just got out there and did another quick flying over the surface of the moon science. So slowing down quite nicely. This little uh, LV-909 engine is uh, very efficient, but it doesn't give a hell of a lot of thrust, so it takes quite a while. And then I drop the stage, open my landing gear, and slowing down. Coming down, slowing down. It's very dark here. It's very difficult to see where my shadow is as I'm coming along, and I'm, I'm looking around to try and figure where the hell is my shadow. I'm about 800 meters up now, and looking for my shadow, and... Slowing right down, coming down, and we have landed. So, Jeb gets out, does some science. We do some science from all our our gear as well, some materials bay, our goo. I have the uh, gravioli and the uh, thermometer in there as well. So now, so I've got an extra science that I didn't get before, and Jeb and I collect the science out of the science bays and plants a flag. The Southwest Crater. Yes, of course, that's where he is. Um, <laughs> smashes. Face plants himself into the, uh, into the side of the spaceship. Well, you know, that's going to happen. So now I realize that I can do a quick burn here. One burn to get straight off the moon and straight back home without going into orbit around the moon. I'm in the perfect position to do it. So I just start burning like crazy. Rising up over the surface of the moon, the dark and dusty surface of the southwest crater. With all of its hundreds of thousands of tiny little craters within the huge big crater. So now we are burning to get out of the moon's sphere of influence. Still burning. And now we are dropping down towards the surface of Kerbal. Doing a little bit more science. Seeing can I do a little bit more science? But unfortunately not. Um... We managed to do a little bit with the uh, temperature gauge there, so uh, Jeb got it and can get back into the ship. I'm setting up a... There we go. We're on our way back. We are now falling rapidly towards Kerbin. Uh, I'm adjusting my, my orbit there so I get proper capture. So I'm high enough so that I get in there, so I'm not falling out. And we're coming in. As What a beautiful shot. We're coming in. Jeb does a little burn to slow himself down. I was actually trying to land on the land here because I actually want to recover as much of this spaceship as possible. But because I'm coming in over those mountains, I'm not really too happy about that. But it doesn't matter. We're going to hit in the water anyway, as I realized. But I still burn to slow myself down. Um, and now we're getting the atmospheric effects. And I'm going to try and put this down as softly as I can in the water. So I've saved quite a bit of fuel for this. Deploying my chute. We're coming down. Whoa. Now, remembering what happened with my uh, shuttle test, I do not want to hit the water too hard. Even though that time I was trying to get the shuttle down without, without damaging it. And I failed miserably this time. I'm going to basically kiss the water as lightly as possible and I'm going to start burning my engines slowing myself down and perfect perfect yes success <laughs> success so I got um, a few ribbons now for, for Jebediah um, and got a load of science uh, got a load of parts back and very happy um, so now I have cash Cash to spare. So, next we are launching. This is the transfer ship that's going to bring our guys to Duna. And this is the first time I'm using those large NASA engine clusters. I've never used them before, and I am delighted they just blast out a huge amount of thrust. Love them. Love them. So, this ship is going to carry two small landers. Well, one large lander and one small lander out to Duna. Uh, the large lander is going to actually land on Duna, and the small lander is going to land on Ike, because I have a contract to explore Duna and explore Ike. 
So, uh, I'm gonna send up the landers in separate flights. And turn on some of those lovely, lovely lights. Those are some of the, the B9 lights. Some of the B9 parts seem to be working again. I don't know why. So now we're getting up there, and this these uh, NASA engines, they're, they're bloody great. I've got so much fuel in this thing, I don't even need to drop it. I figured that I would need to drop this uh, stage long ago, but no, I've got it. Um, I have a stage there was supposed to put me into orbit, which I haven't even used yet, and it's just fantastic. Love this, and the rocket is enormous as well. It's one of the five, five is it five meter diameter rockets? I can't remember. Who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows? And we're burning, and we have... There we are, camera flipped, and we are in orbit. I'm just adjusting it, just to make sure we've got a good um, a good orbit there. Now, we've got some fuel left in this launch stage, so I figure... Why don't I hold on to this? I could use this to get out to, to Duna. Now, here's the uh, Duna lander getting launched. A uh, slightly smaller launcher. Uh, and you'll notice that across the top of the stages there, there is parachutes. Now, I've started to use the Deb Refund mod in this i'm gonna s and this is the first time i used it i did do a quick test on it and it seemed to work fine um and i'm about to drop those stages and there they go and they hit them <laughs> hit the rocket so i have to go again oops that was a simulation it was a test flight it was uh, you know we had to make some adjustments i had to add some sepatrons so that the <laughs> the side boosters would move away from the main rocket um, you know it's all about uh, you know, experimentation experimentation there was a, an unplanned disassembly but luckily the unplanned disassembly happened in a simulation and the proper f regular launch there was no unplanned disassembly it was all it was all supposed to happen it all happened perfectly perfectly <laughs> and so now we have our Duna lander is uh, trying to get up into uh, orbit here I'm hoping, this is pretty much a guess, I'm, I'm going to tell you, that Duna lander, I'm hoping, has enough Delta V to get up off the surface of Duna and back into the atmosphere. Pretty sure it will. Um, pretty sure it will. I'm using a kind of an asparagus stage thing. Oh, there we go. There's my uh, report that my stages got returned, the two stages that I dropped. Excellent. And uh, the main central launcher there also has the parachute, so I need to get myself into, almost into orbit with this, and then drop it and switch to the smaller engine that I've got on the back. And there's me checking my orbit. I drop it and fire off my little LV-909 just to push myself finally into a safe orbit. Um, and that big launch stage will travel all the way around the planet, get caught again by the atmosphere, and drop down, and hopefully I will get some funds, recovery funds. And so I'm very pleased with that with that mod, because it means that I, <laughs> it's not going to be terrible. So I don't have enough money, actually, to launch the uh, next stage, the second lander, uh, because I wanted to launch it in the Kablamo. I wanted to send up my shuttle with it in the back, because that is probably the most cost-effective way of doing it, but I do not have the money to actually launch it, even though I will get 90% of the money back. So I'm looking around to see what kind of um, science I can do, and I see a cool one um, to test one of the engines, but the, the, the parameters of the test are crazy, so I have to build this crazy rocket here that fails. Uh, I have to just launch the test the T-45 engine at a, at a specific speed, really fast, at a very low altitude. Um, and I've been trying, I did about 10 or 15 attempts at this, and I just could not get it to work. Um, as you can see, I was going way too slow there. I had to be going at like 400 meters per second when I tested the engine. Between like, you know, 1500 meters altitude and 3000 meters altitude. So, it was just, it was not happening. I could not do it. I tried. And I tried, and I tried, and I just... <sighs> I'm gonna try again later. So I need money. So we're going back to the moon. So this is the uh, Kerfuffle 10, I think. Uh, and she's on her way out to the moon. It's a very similar launch to the first launch we saw. In fact, it's exactly the same ship. Except it has parachutes so I can get all those pieces back. 
using the Deb Refund mod. So up into orbit, I'm not going to show you the entire flight again, dropping our second stage. Uh, for some reason, this uh, spent a lot, took a lot more fuel to get it into orbit, but, you know, we made it. By the time I was on this stage, I was already in Moonar orbit, so before. Um, so I don't know, maybe my launch profile was, was, was a bit crappy. So there I am, setting up, uh, setting up my maneuver nodes, adjusting it, manlying my, uh, my trajectory so that it's exactly the way I want it, and then trying not to screw it up when I burn, which, uh, luckily I didn't. So, excellent. I got it in a nice low altitude there. Well, not that low, but low enough for what I want to do. So I need to go back to the moon and plant another flag. That's what this mission is, uh, to get a little cash. And there is a couple of places I still haven't been to on the moon. Now, however, I actually stopped recording. Um, and, well, the recording failed uh, when I was coming to land, and it didn't really work. As you can see, I crashed. I crashed and destroyed the ship. So Lemwell is now stuck on the moon, all alone. Uh, we've got four days now to go before my Duna window. <laughs> and Lemwell <laughs> is stuck on the moon. I need to mend a rescue mission. I need to get him home. Uh, I need to do it as cheaply as possible. <laughs> and I need to do it quickly. Because uh, I want the science. And I want the money. I want everything. <laughs> But we'll see that in the next episode. This is the old gaming geezer. I'm going to sign off for now. Uh, if you like this video, hit like below. If you like it a lot, hey, maybe even subscribe. Good night. Farewell.